right? So today I want to show you a couple of ways on how you can customize your Steam Deck and make the overall look a bit more to your tastes. So as you can see here, this is the plain interface that uh, you regularly see on the Steam Deck. So nothing is too different to the one that you know. But there are a couple of ways on how you can customize your Steam Deck. And this can be easily done through a plugin called Decky. And as you can see, I already have it here installed. I will not go through all the steps that you need to install this plugin, but I'll link the procedure down below. It's a pretty straightforward procedure and you can do this on your own with ease. So what you can see here are a couple of plugins that I've already installed and I will go through each and one of them and see how I managed to customize my Steam Deck to my needs and to my like. Okay, so first thing first, this is Decky and over here you have the store for installing a couple of more plugins. The first one that I've installed is the CSS Loader because this is basically the place where you customize your interface, the themes, uh, you round the corners, different fonts and all that stuff. So this is the must have plugin for me. And I have a couple of others that I've installed separately. One other important one is the Vibrant Deck one that we have over here. This will basically allow you to change a bit the color scheme, the saturation, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. I do have the pause games uh, over here installed. And another important one that I really recommend is the Bluetooth because you'll have quick access to the accessories that you are currently connected to via Bluetooth. And another one that I have installed from here is the HLTB for deck, which is a pretty interesting one that uh, will enable the option to see how long it usually takes to complete a game that you're currently playing. So let's start first with this one because this is a pretty straightforward one. Uh, if we go home and go into one of the game's menus, you will see over here that I have these numbers enabled that you regularly don't see. Here I have the total number of hours that I need to finish the main story, then the main pros extras, the completionist, which this is regularly to collect all the trophies, and uh, I think this is calculated based on uh, how people are usually playing. Uh, don't take my word for that one, but I think this is what this one means. Okay, uh, let's go back to Deki. And let's go quickly through them and see what you have enabled in each and one of them. So in the CSS loader, if you want to go directly to it, you can go to manage teams. And here you have the browse team section. And this is the default menu that you usually see before you install everything else. And here you have a lot of different options, like changing your teams, changing your font, uh, changing the look of your start menu, changing icons and a lot of more things. So I really recommend you go through all of these and see which one are a, a better fit for you. So if we go back to the ones that I already have installed, first thing first is the clean game view. If I enable this one, maybe you already see in the background that something is changing. And if we go back, you'll see now we have this poster, this uh, image of the game a lot bigger because this will enable this view to enjoy a bit more the image of the game instead of all these menu that you regularly see on the Steam Deck. So this one just enlarges the picture that you have from the games. The color toggle one is as you would expect just to change the color, the default color of these toggles that you regularly get on your Steam Deck. So if I enable it, you'll see that it's already changing to a different color. And in my case, it's a darker blue. That's because here you can change to whatever color you have. You have a couple of predefined ones like orange. If you don't have your favorite color over here, you can always go to custom and then you have different options for the main color and the text color as well. So over here you can change the colors to whatever gradient you want. So if I enable this yellowish color, You'll see that now we have it over here enabled and if we go also to the toggles you'll see that these are enabled as well all right moving forward is the icon packer this one basically just changes the icons you have over here to from the regular ones in our case to an xbox layout i think you have more but uh, by default it's only enabling the xbox one and you have over here different uh, icons and especially the colors of the buttons over here for, for example a and b it's a pretty cool uh, plugin that uh, you may want to enable uh, moving forward we have the round plugin 
and if we do enable this one we get an intensity over here let's keep it on 15 and basically this will just add rounded corners for your games and also from your menus as you can see here from the play button it's also a rounded corner so this just gives a different overview of the icons okay a uh, different one is the rounded keyboard and as you may expect uh, like the previous one it just makes the keys on the keyboard rounded so if we enable the keyboard with steam and x you will see over here that the corners on the keys are now rounded so that's pretty much it for this plugin okay and uh, to show you also uh, themes that you can already installed i have two of them over here one is this classic theme which after we enable you'll see that the color scheme and the layout already changes to a different one and if we go home you'll see that the theme of the steam deck is now different through this classic layout so some of you may prefer this one but there are multiple themes that you can install and uh, actually we do have another one over here already installed and it's the Wii theme which as you may expect it just adds a Wii layout uh, to your menu and there you have it as you can see over here even on the bottom we have the buttons in the Wii layout that you may know already so it's a pretty cool feature and um, this way you can customize your Steam Deck even more. So that was for the CSS loader. We do have then the Vibrant Deck which is a pretty interesting one because this will enable you to uh, change the color scheme of your uh, Steam Deck. And what I have over here in this moment the saturation is set at 200 because it adds more color to my games you can enable this per game like i do have spider-man now currently running so that's why uh, i switched this to 200 but you can switch it all the way down to zero and now you can enjoy some spider-man in black and white so this is the noir version let's say of spider-man but you can also bring it all the way to 400 and now you'll see the colors are popping so now it's way more vibrant than uh, you usually have so this can be changed to however you want it's uh, nice that you can have this option now you can change the color layout to however you want it i usually keep it like around 175 uh, this is my sweet spot but depending on the game i also bring it up or down a bit it depends on what I prefer in that moment. Alright, uh, moving forward we have the pause game. This will basically pause the games before suspending. As you can see here we have the Spider-Man one over here. We'll just enable this option, pause the game before suspending. Uh, I don't really see a big difference to this one. This is just for testing out. Uh, but I'll look a bit more into it and see if there are other options. I do have over here also uh, the Bluetooth which will just enable a quick menu to see all your current accessories that are connected via bluetooth to your steam deck as you can see here i already have a controller connected this is my go-to controller usually for the steam deck because it's pretty minimalistic i take it with me when i'm on the go so that's why you can see here connected and i can also do this uh, from the distance this is a pretty cool menu that uh, will show you all the accessories that you currently have connected Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to do this quick video and show you how I usually customize my Steam Deck. It depends on what I'm playing and the mood I'm having. I always uh, change the layout. Um, there are a couple of things that I keep uh, different than the default settings. So it's up to you to check out these uh, plugins and test them out and um, change your interface to whatever you like. Hope you enjoyed this quick video and you find these plugins helpful. I'll link the procedure down in the description. If you have any issues with installing it, please let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoy this type of content, I'll link an, a couple of more videos down over here. And uh, you'll see what other cool things you can do with your Steam Deck. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is the Tekan Rebel and I'll catch you in the next video.